Hey everybody, Estelle and Annie are taking a break right now, but I just wanted to show you the pressure cooker. It took about 20 minutes or so, or 30 minutes for the water to start boiling, and then you put on that little weight on the top and it's rattling. And that means this whole pot is under pressure right now. And it would work the same way if you have like a Breville or an Instapot, it's the same concept, except this is the old school, and you gotta be careful. Because if you turn the flame up too hot, too high, that thing on the top will go on the ceiling and you'll have, the thing will explode and it would be like an I Love Lucy type episode, but we're not going to do that today. But at any rate, this is going to be on for about 20 minutes. And when it's done, we'll show you what it looks like, but I just wanted to show you the process that once you get under pressure, 20 minutes is about the right time for six quarts. Hi, we're back cooking in the trailer with Annie is actually moved. I am in Estelle Tubman's. Uh, this is kitchen. my daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. now we showed you how she made her mother's uh, vegetable soup in the pressure cooker. And we are now going to open up the soup, uh, the pot, and she's going to show us how she scoops it out and puts it in a container. So here we are, we're walking over. Now it was on and now it cooled down. Yeah, we cooked it for about 20, 25 minutes okay. under pressure and that little thing on the top was rattling. And yes, I, I, yes, I, yes, I, I, I heard. Filmed, I filmed that, so. All right, so everybody still, watching you're this on. Is, okay, Mom, you're okay. on. Okay, I have to see if I can open it. We have right. to take this off. This is the, okay, here we go. And here's here. the soup. Here wow. is the soup. Okay. And I'm looking for my big spoon here, which I don't have. We're going to start with this and see what we've got here. Okay. Oh, and it looks till it smells so good. I know, but I need to have, what What do you need me to get? This is a marrow bone okay, right so here. You, yeah, you want a black it, thing. You want no, to put it to the right. Right here, honey. Here. Okay. We're going to get this one. All right. And we have another one in here, okay. too. Here we go. These are two lovely bones that have lovely marrow bone in okay. here. Okay. Okay. And Can now, I get that here? Is that good? Okay. And we have a little bit of the gristle here okay. that we can put over here. All right. And see. And what we're looking at right now are all the lovely vegetables here that are still, there's, you can see carrots. I don't know, can you actually get in and see? Yep. And let's see how it tastes. It might need seasoning right now. You know, let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Want to taste it, Annie? Sure. Let me give you a... But it needs a little salt. Okay. Mmm. Just a Very little bit of salt? A little bit, not a lot. Not, I know, I know. Not much, but yeah. it is delicious. It's... Oh, yeah. And it's full of the vegetables and the uh, dried... Uh, split peas and the barley oh. and fresh vegetables and it's it's a lovely lovely soup which will thicken you know the more you keep it when I put it away and oh I may just put it in one bigger bowl and then put it in smaller jars so that the kids can have it to take home <laughs> okay but if not this could be for you this could be like you could freeze it in smaller containers. well I can put it in the freezer and then I always have something to eat right yes. exactly and right. you know that's a big deal yeah what do you do with the bones do you toss the bones out you know it depends because some people love the marrow bones okay yeah you know, I mean this is quite a treat because these have they're you know you know it just depends on whether people if you have a dog, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have our dog with us. Okay. It's Louis okay. back home with um, Isaac and Leah. Yeah. We we were we were fortunate to find bones because most grocers don't have bones anymore. Butchers don't have them to give away. 
and uh, we found these lovely marrow bones okay. that give the, the, the soup a real rich taste to it. Yay! Yeah, look at the consistency. See? Okay, so we're gonna ha we're gonna sign off. Right. And she's going to put it in a container. And I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna season it a little bit more. It it does need a little bit more salt. And, and my it, grandmother and your mother is smiling down yes. on you right now for sharing <laughs> her soup recipe. Yes. Cheers. Thank you, Estelle. It's been fun. All right. Thank bye. You. See you again.